Hey YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul. In today's video. I like this guy's channel, by the way. I'm a Music Mogul. I like his channel. Yo, I'm gonna show you how. I wish they did more instrumental remix. Every trap beat is made. Now, I don't want to generalize trap music or trap beats, but the other day I was driving in my car listening to Shade 45, and they had this playlist happening. It was all trap music, and in my opinion, they all sounded pretty much the same. I was driving for about 30 minutes and all the tracks sounded the same. It sort of sparked an idea in my head to create a video on how every trap beat is basically made, in my opinion. Again, I don't want to generalize things. There are differences here and there, but for the most part, they all have the same groove and vibe. So let's get straight to it. First thing you want to do. It's so crazy how he has to like specify it over and over and he's like, again, I don't want to generalize. I don't want to be disrespectful or whatever. Like, nah, dude, have a bit of fun. This is what I hate about the music community. Like, they get so offended at everything. Uh, how how dare you insult my artistic uh, vision and all this stuff. It's like, bro, you have none. Shut up. Everyone considers this, like, so delicate. They're so, they're so, like, uh, uh, they're so, like, they think of the world as, like, there's either the mechanical, uh, rigid, logical, mathematical way of looking at things, and there's the artistic way of looking at things. In a beautiful way and and there's no overlap and they're two totally separate there's a line in between and when you're in the artistic realm uh you can't be like oh you can't rush art i tell you like hurry up and finish the song why is it taking you months to release it you can't rush art you can't rush art yeah you can you can rush arts should you or should you not is the question but you absolutely can rush art and it, people are so like pretentious they're like oh it's art that means it's immune to all criticism and that sort of thing. It's at your tempo to eat. So that's why he has, he feels, because he's in this world, right? And it's part of the culture here. Like, oh, don't offend anyone. Don't offend anyone. But it's like, fuck all that. Like, offend people. Offend people. Do it. A nice fast one. And we're going to set it to 150 beats per minute. And we're going to start off with our hi-hats because the hi-hats are extremely important in trap. Hi-hats are trap. Like, trap, you want to define trap? It's hi-hats music that's what it is it kind of gives you that sort of that vibe that you're going for let's go ahead and create a four bar region and then go in and draw in those hi-hats make sure my brush tool is selected i'm gonna start with eighth notes and let's go ahead and just paint those in notice how he, he's painting them all every time he's not right clicking and going oh, i just paint them no Some trap producers just put that in and call it a day. But let's go ahead and spice things up a little bit. We'll do a couple stutters here and there. I'm just going to go ahead and just randomly put stutters in. And we'll put another stutter over here. another stutter over here and we'll put another stutter to end off this pattern all right so now that we have our hi-hats let's go over to our kick mm -hmm. we're gonna create another four bar pattern and we're going to go ahead and draw in our kick pattern. Now, the kick is extremely important as well because it gives you that bounce that you want in sort of mumble, rap, trap music. So here we go. Right there, we got that bounce that we're looking for in this genre of music. Super right, let's easy. Go ahead over to our 808 track. Now we are using Logic's ES2 plugin, and we're using the popular 808 preset that we like to use on this channel. So let's go ahead and just create a four-bar pattern. And this 808 is essentially going to follow. Notice how the pattern. moment you paint something in here, it automatically opens up the piano roll. The two separate pieces of this greater thing. This is just as important. Notice how this is just as important as this. If anything, it's more important. There's a great emphasis on this because of how important it is to play your music and play the notes. That's why Logic Pro is made for creatives. 
actually we can even keep it simpler and just copy this down <laughs> of and course just gonna stretch out our 808s maybe not this last one over here because we want this one to be stretched out And then we're going to get a little bit fancy here and we're going to pitch up or put in another note here to get a nice slide or 808 glide right there at the end of our loop. Let's just go ahead over to our snare track and put in some snares because what's a trap beat without some snares? Uh, let's just go find that snare. All right, so we're going to use that one right there. Back in the day, you would find people doing all this stuff and this stuff and uh, uh, like the extra stuff, right? You would find all of that near the end and the beginning would be very formulaic and very simple. Nowadays, people put it in the beginning just to subvert you. Now we're starting to feel that vibe that we're going for. Let's go ahead and draw in a clap. Once again, a four bar pattern. And uh, let's go ahead and find where this guy is here. We're essentially just gonna put it right under our snare sound. That clap is meant to layer up that snare, so every time it hits on the three, you get a little bit of a different sound as opposed to those ghost notes over here. So there's a clap, ghost note, clap. All right, next let's go ahead and draw in our open hat, as this once again hey, is pivotal to that sort of bounce and groove vibe that we're going for. Where does he put it? Oh, he just puts it on the... Oh. All right, next what we gotta do is add in another bass. I think it's a little much. That classic Drake Mo bass right here. And for that sound, we're using Logic's ES2 synthesizer. If you want to learn how to make this Moog bass from scratch, you can click the card in the top right hand corner of this video. Of course. For now, let's go ahead and just draw in one single sustain note that creates tension in the track. And we're just going to draw it in right here. And we're just going to sustain that for the entire loop pattern. just gives you that subtle tension that something's about to happen All right last but not least let's go ahead and round this up with a bell sound what is trap music without those <laughs> bells you gotta have those bells no matter what kind of trap producer you are so let's go ahead and draw in a four bar pattern the plugin they'll be using for our bell sound is logic stock plugin uh, called sculpture they have some cool bell sounds that work well for trap music uh, all i did was add in some reverb and put in a filter to filter out some of the high notes. So let's go ahead and draw in that pattern. Again, with trap music, the bell patterns are usually fairly simple. And um, I'm gonna go to a higher octave here. And let's draw Notice it. how he, he literally dragged it up even though you only need one layer to do this. You only need one layer, but he literally dragged it up because there's so much emphasis on actually playing music in Logic. High notes. So let's go when ahead. you're a part of that culture, when you're a part, when you use the software, you mentally, intuitively go, oh, this is not big enough. You're just thinking that, that always. Again, with trap music, the bell patterns are usually fairly simple. And um, we'll go to a higher octave here. And let's draw that in. So first we'll pull out our progression. Oh, he's using multiple layers. Never mind. We're just going to duplicate that. Now we're gonna put in that pattern. Here we go. <laughs> He's good. He's quick with it.
Mm, I'm not, I don't know if. I don't like that last note. Right, we'll just duplicate that once again. The patterns are always kept super simple. You're right. And here's the full pattern. So that's pretty much the beat right here. But if I go ahead and just bring in some vocals, that's really what's gonna bring out this track. Now, I'm gonna solo out my vocals right now. And I said this before, my vocals are not the greatest by no means or any stretch of the imagination. But um, you can just add in some like mumble stuff and it'll make it sound cool. So over here, I just mumbled some- Yeah, you can do all this grouping in here as well in Logic, but it's not the default. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's one part. Then here I added my rapper name. In this case, I just took 21 Savage and just repeated 21, 21. 21, 21. And over here, I just did that classic sound that you hear in a lot of rap music. It's sort of, they do a lot of effects. I like how he's this breaking, what I, did right here. I like how he's breaking this whole thing down. And over here, I did that skirt skirt that you hear in almost every single track. And for this last vocal ad lib, I just added in sort of a Quavo, sort of Migos type of ad lib. Sort of like that woo sound that they always put in there. Sounds like he's so like, bring he's got to stay together, quiet. It sounds like this. This is such a... This is such so a diss, like... bro. This is such a diss. This is actually dissing these guys. He's laughing. This is a better diss than that whole like um, that whole thing that Hobson did. Oh, uh, what was that? Hobson. It was like Hobson, like mumble rap or Hobson. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it was just called Hobson mumble rap, but I, I don't know. It's funny how everyone like put it into like memes after Hobson made that, and they made it sound better. It's like really like just like a mumbling some stuff there but if i bring it in with the track it makes it sound cool this is this is this is the most offensive video i've ever seen in this like whole whatever no wonder in the beginning he was like oh i just want to make it clear not every Thing, rap trap beat sounds the same, obviously, but you know, just this is insulting. If I was a shit producer, I would be. I would take this as a personal attack. I'd be personally offended by this guy. I'd block him.